Hello everyone, I'm Gareth from WeCycle and today I'm going to look through uh, the new offering of aluminium hardtails from Orbea in the form of the Honor. This has been um, designed from the ground up by Orbea, starting again to give uh, the, uh, what we expect from Orbea in terms of looks and um, uh, cleanliness in the appearance, uh, but also the functionality that goes with uh, what most people want from a, an aluminium bike uh, below the sort of thousand pound mark. The model I've got today is the Honor M20. Um, this is priced in the UK at just under a penny under a thousand pounds. It's available in this beautiful blue, a terracotta, which is a sort of pinky colour, uh, and a black and grey uh, option as well. Now, there's certain things that are um, relevant to all the lineup, um, that, which starts at the M50 for six hundred and four uh, twenty-nine pounds all the way up to the Honor M10, which is £1,099. All of them are based on the same aluminium frame. And that's where the, the beauty of the bike really is. Orbea have designed this with the idea of being able to um, personalize and, and upgrade parts as and when you're ready. And with that in mind, they've gone for a tapered head tube um, on all the frames. What this means is that the bike is going to be um, able to take a, a much wider range of uh, 100 mil forks from a, a, a lot more companies, giving you the, the ability to upgrade or, or change depending on uh, what you're after. On the M20, it comes with a Suntour um, airlock fork with lockout and 100 mil of travel, keeping it nice and lightweight, um, but giving you enough travel to, to get you over the rough stuff. The bikes all come with a threaded bottom bracket for ease of use and servicing. Uh, and they also come with useful um, rack mounts because Orbea are recognizing that although this is designed as, a, as a, an out and out mountain bike, not everyone who buys them is gonna use them for that. And so being able to put a rack on the back to do touring, traveling, even commuting with uh, is a nice touch. Orbea have designed the frames with uh, wheel size in mind. So the extra small and the small both come available with a 27 and a half inch wheel. Uh, if you want a 29 inch wheel, uh, it's a small upwards. Now you might want the 29 because it rolls more efficiently or you might be after the 27 and a half for a more nimble feel and that's completely up to you. Orbea are catering for both. Uh, option. Regardless of where the bike is in the range, it's going to come with hydraulic disc brakes. Now that's an important move because it means that we're not looking at um, the, the cheaper bikes in the range having cable operated ones or even um, uh, rim brakes. Or Bayer is setting the standard out saying hydraulic is the only way forward here. Seat post size is 27.2 mil and although the bikes all come as standard with uh, a normal uh, aluminium post, the frame has been designed for uh, a dropper post to be internally rooted, which on bikes of this sort of price isn't always the case. And that goes in line with what Obeya do when it comes to, to how the bike looks. Trying to keep everything as clean as possible and the lines nice and smooth and cables as hidden away as much as they can. Looking at the bike from the front, we can see that um, all the cables go into the frame as quickly as they can. There's two entry points on this side and then the dropper post entry points on this side if you go for a dropper. What this means is that Orbea are designing a bike that not only is budget sensitive, uh, it's attractive, but it's also really balanced, feels really good and rides beautifully. Neatly hidden underneath the brake caliper on the, the rear of the bike are a couple of holes to take a kickstand. Now, this is again Orbea acknowledging that not everyone's going to use this as an out and out mountain bike, but by hiding the holes uh, away, you're not going to notice it if you are. So it's a really neat feature that not every mountain bike like this is going to come with, but just makes it a little bit more 
um, uh, um, accessible and, and, and the right bike for more people. This particular one, the uh, M20, comes with uh, Shimano Dior um, rear derailleur, 10 speed with an 11 to 46 cassette and a 30 tooth chain ring, meaning there's ample gearing for, for any climbs, uh, either up or down. The Orbea honors are starting to arrive in the UK and keenly priced between 600 pounds and 1,100 pounds. Uh, this is going to be a really popular bike, not just because it looks good, but it rides well uh, and, and it, it's well specced in each of the categories um, compared to the competition. Thanks for watching. Uh, if, hope you found this video interesting. For more bike related updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you soon.